Hey guys, Modeler48 here, and I am doing another video on an RC tank. You may have seen my last video. Me and my friend got into the hobby of RC tanks, but don't worry, we are not giving up trains. So, this is my second RC. This is my second tank. I will be I will be showing you the Tiger One tank, the German tank. Let's just jump right into this. So here we go, we have the tank, and as you can see I have a little dude, the commander, flip this one for you guys, and this one does not come with um, ex an accessory box, because the accessories are already on the tank, and yes this does have sound, I actually get quite a bit annoyed about it, because it doesn't sound all that good, but it is a really cool tank. So, yeah, and it comes with a charger right there, a battery, and this is a ready to run tank, so you can plug it in, charge it up, and run it. It's a battery right there. And I like this controller way better than the other controller in the video. Actually showed you this controller. Extend, it extends. Typical wire. It'll turn on. It'll have the red right there. And then, yeah, this I like this because it has me slow, medium, fast, and then slow and fast, and then slow turn, fast turn, faster and slow turn. I have no idea what these buttons do. I pressed them. Can't find what they do. On and off. Here. Lifts up and down the muzzle. And here. Safety. So you have to hold down the safety right here. The top one. And then you fire. And if you just press this once. It's also a machine gun fire. Which I found really cool. So. And then here's the turret move. Left and right. So. Yeah. There's your controller. And this does come with a small pack of BBs right there, but me and my friend got a big 2000 pack right here. And there's the cap that you stick in the barrel, if I can get it in. And this is a nice metal barrel. It's cool. Yes, the noise is really annoying. And I have had problems with the tracks. The tracks are plastic. They are clip-on. Like, you can un... You could... I actually... There was a rock stuck in the treads. The tracks. And I had to uncouple it. And take the tracks completely off to get the rock off. Because it was affecting the movement of the tank. And I also, the track actually came off once when I was running it. It was really annoying because it took a little bit to get back on. And, yeah. It does come with a small extra tread that kind of looks, it It comes with extra tracks just in case if a section breaks off you need to replace it. But that's inside. I don't have that with, with me right now, sadly. And... Yeah, I will show you guys a video of it running right now. Hey guys, it's me again. This isn't the running session. I have the batteries plugged in over there if you can see them, kind of. I found the tracks, got them inside just in case if you wanted to see them. Yes, these do grab onto things way better than the Type 90 tracks right there. There's the box with the tank in it. They're kind of awkward tracks, but they're cool and see it's kind of a hook if you can see it probably not and yeah and I also want to tell you I am getting another tank I ordered one it should be coming soon so you guys should be seeing a video on that soon enough so here's the running session
as you can see guys this manages terrain way better than the type 90 and I don't think you guys saw the BB but the BB shot this goes over terrain way better the type 90 gets stuck a lot this one is way more independent I highly recommend this tank more than the Type 90. So, yeah. Good dragon. See, the sound is really annoying because it doesn't keep going when it's going forward and it stops. When you're going forward and you stop, the sound stops, and then you keep going, the sound starts up again. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe.